Heidi Once upon a time, there was a little girl called Heidi. Heidi lived in a little town near some mountains in Switzerland with her Aunt Diet. One day Aunt Diet said, Today we will go and see your grandfather. He lives up in the mountains. As they climbed up the mountains, they saw a boy called Peter who looked after some mountain goats. Heidi and Aunt Diet walked up to the little house where Grandfather lived. Grandfather came out to meet them. Aunt Diet said, Heidi, I have to go to the big town of Frankfurt. I cannot take you with me. You must stay here with your Grandfather. Heidi was worried, so was her Grandfather. He said, I'm much too old to look after a little girl. But Aunt Diet went back down the mountain, and Heidi was left with her grandfather. Where will I sleep? she asked. Grandfather made her a little bed in the hayloft. Then Peter took Heidi some goat's milk to drink. Heidi was happy in the mountains with her grandfather. She liked the trees and flowers, and she liked looking after the goats with Peter. Heidi liked the little white goat best of all. Her name was Snowflake. Sometimes Heidi went to see Peter's grandmother, who was blind. Heidi told her about all the beautiful trees and flowers that she saw in the mountains. But one day Aunt Diet came back from Frankfurt. Heidi, she said, it's time you went to school in Frankfurt. I will take you to stay with my friends who live there. Grandfather was sad. Does Heidi have to go? he asked. Heidi was sad too. I want to stay here with Grandfather and Peter, she said. They said, No, you must go to school. Aunt Diet took Heidi to live with some of her friends in a big house in Frankfurt. A little girl called Clara lived there. Clara could not walk. She had to stay in a wheelchair all the time. Heidi liked Clara, but she wasn't happy living in Frankfurt. She wanted to go back to Grandfather and Peter in the mountains. At night, Heidi dreams that she was in the mountains with Snowflake, the little white goat. One day, when Heidi came home from school, Clara said, Last night, the maid saw a ghost on the stairs. Tonight, Daddy will stay up, so that he can see the ghost too. So that night, Clara's father went to look for the ghost. His friend, the doctor who looked after Clara, went with him. As they were searching, there was a noise on the stairs. It was Heidi, walking in her sleep. So this is the ghost after all, said Clara's father. The doctor took Heidi back to her bedroom and woke her up very gently. What were you dreaming about, said the doctor. I was dreaming about the mountains, said Heidi. I am happy here, but I miss my grandfather and Peter. Clara's father was worried about Heidi. I'll send you home he said. Heidi went to see Clara. I will miss you when I am back in the mountains, she said. I will miss you too, said Clara. But I will come back and see you one day soon. So Heidi went back to the mountains. Grandfather and Peter were very happy to see her. Heidi didn't walk in her sleep any more. She was so happy to be home. The next day, Heidi went to look after the goats with Peter. It's wonderful to have you back, said Peter. I missed you. I missed you too, said Heidi. I want to stay in the mountains forever. One morning, when Heidi had just got up, there was a knock at the door. It was Clara and her father who had come to visit her. I have to go to town, said Clara's father to grandfather. Can Clara stay here with you for a week? Heidi was pleased to see Clara and took her to see all the beautiful things in the mountains. But Peter was jealous of Heidi's new friend. When no one was looking, he pushed Clara's wheelchair down the mountain. 
The next day, Clara could not find her wheelchair. I'm Must try to walk, said Clara. So Heidi and her grandfather helped her to walk. Soon Clara was able to stand up, and one day she started to walk all by herself. This is wonderful, said Heidi. Peter was pleased too. I'm so sorry I was jealous, said Peter. Will you be my friend, Clara? The next day Clara's father came to take her back home. Clara walked out of the house to meet him. You can walk, said Clara's father. This is the happiest day of my life. Heidi, Clara and Peter were friends forever.